All right, so let's say that I'm not excited about like this blue car. Well, let's probably actually do the sports car. So I'm like, you know, a red box, not an image. I don't really like that. What you can do is you can actually load in images. So if I want to load in, let's say that I run over to GameMaker real quick and grab some picture. So I'll grab that guy and I'll use that in my little simulation. So what I'm going to do is I need to actually load that in at the time that I create a sports car. I guess I could just load it in here. Since I'm using the same image, I could create it as a, just a class file, but let's do this. My image equals, we'll just create it there. All right, so I have my image. Now I need to load it in. Image.io has a way of reading these things. Let's see. Read in a file. And then I'm going to have a new file and the name of it. So actually, let's go ahead and throw this guy in my project. It'll be my car underscore s. Car underscore s dot png. Hopefully it'll read pngs, so otherwise I'll have to convert it to say a JPEG. And we need to surround that with a try catch because it's possible that thing doesn't exist. Like right now, it doesn't. So there. So exception, yeah, let's print that out. I'm going to grab that guy, go into my workspace, traffic, paste it there, much in the same way I would with anything else. So assuming I have that, what I can do instead of these two lines here is, I can say, hey, draw that image. So the image I want is my image. Hopefully that's been loaded. And I believe I can say null here because we don't have a particular image observer that needs to be notified. So if I run traffic, uh-oh, oh. oh. All right, so I should actually assign this into this image. That would make it more useful. There we go. I'm going to need to adjust the width based on the uh, size of my image, but you can actually draw images to this. All right, so the fact that I can load in images from outside of my project, if you think about it, that's really powerful. Like, I can make a complete video game just using, like, drawing images and loading them in and just manipulating where on the screen they're drawn to. So once you have the ability to read in images, you can do all sorts of cool things. So anyway, that gives you an idea of how to load in images, how to do throughput, and how to do the traffic simulation.